Welcome back. So the next thing we're going to prepare for our wand is the battery. So you want your battery and your 22 gauge wire. My first mistake is why you see this kind of connection like right here is I didn't make the wire long enough because I wasn't expecting it to actually go that high. But now that I made one, we're going to want one just as long. So we'll cut that wire. All right. So we'll cut the wire at that length and we'll strip it. Let's see. So probably three quarters is a good one. So what I did is I had to coil it up. So you can do it at the top or bottom. Uh, just make sure you're consistent and know which one you did. All right, so that's coiled somewhat, not very well. Let me try this again. Okay, so wires, wires coiled up and we'll wanna use this on the positive side. And then what you'll use is electrical tape. So actually I'm gonna use so I happen to have it, some red electrical tape, because it's the positive side. We basically just need to tie this or tape this to the top, Oop, wrong side, to the positive side. And if you're just using electrical tape, you're definitely going to want to make sure that's a really tight connection. Stretch it out. Make sure it's still centered. There we go. But I'm actually going to be using a heat shrink this time. Hopefully it works out, but that's just going to be holding in place while I get the heat shrink. Looks like we got some decent length still. Yeah, so just barely. So you may want to cut a little more just to be safe, but yeah, I think I'll be okay. And then we're going to cut another piece for the negative side. So basically just needs to make it from the top of the battery to the button. And I'll cut a little extra since I have 100 feet of this stuff and I don't want to redo it. So about the same, strip off about three quarters. And you can leave the other side for now. Then coil. All right, so it's coiled. And that we're going to do pretty much the same thing, get yeah, to the top. And uh, probably coming out the opposite side as the other wire. So we'll go this way. And make sure it's centered right there. There we go. We got our first battery. If you have black wire, yeah, go ahead and put that on the negative side. But otherwise, you can cheap out like me and just use a marker. This is just to remind me that this is the negative side. All right, so if you were gonna use just electrical tape, I'd probably recommend throwing another strand that goes all the way around uh, lengthwise, as well as probably like another thin one going across this way. Uh, that's what I did on my last one, and it's held up pretty well, uh, but I'm gonna use uh, some heat shrink. So I'm gonna cut some of that, and that one was cheaper at a local store as well. I got about four feet of it of each type for about between three, three to four dollars, about three to five dollars for each one. Yeah, so this one is the one inch heat shrink. So I'm gonna cut off a strip and we're gonna go, we're gonna go lengthwise. All right, so I cut off about a three quarter inch strip. So this is gonna go on top. And the ratio of this one, this is a one inch wide and it's also just a one to two ratio. They have different ratios about how much they shrink. Uh, so this one will shrink down to actually half an inch. So I'm gonna heat this up and I'll be right back. All right, so one thing to watch out for is I just realized is this is also heating up the battery. So just be a little careful or <laughs> just be careful with that. You don't heat it up too much because it doesn't seem like it's doing much. Uh, but it definitely is. I actually might get a cold rag and deal with this, deal with this as well. Yeah, so that I have half inch, half inch diameter ones. So I'm going to go around and maybe I'll see if I can connect it to a chopstick already. So we'll get that a shot. All right, so we're going to put that there. Hold that there. Actually, we'll use that other half strip to hold it around. There we go. Make sure, it's, make sure it's snug enough. All right, and then heating it up again. All right, what I'm doing now is just cooling off the battery mainly. Uh, I guess it's cooling off the heat shrink as well, which is fine. Yeah, because heat can damage a battery 
Like I'd strongly recommend against soldering the wires directly to it because of that. And this just is a damp cloth I was using. Uh, you don't want it too wet because you know, you're putting water on a battery basically. Yeah, we'll test it out and make sure it still actually works. And if you're wondering, this mat I have here is a, I think they call it a soldering mat. So yeah, this one in particular, uh, I'll put it in the description below, but it's got an Amazon for like, I think about 11 bucks, something like that. And it can take temperatures up to 900 degrees. So figured all this soldering and heat gun, uh, it, it will come in really handy and it does. That way I don't mess up, mess up my desk. Battery's cooled down now, so it looks pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually test it and make sure we didn't completely ruin it. Because if that's the case, we're going to have to try the other method. Cut off a bit from here, from each end, and we're going to throw it in my breadboard. Throwing in a negative positive corresponding, and let's see if it lights up still. Ooh, it is not lighting up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, resistor is missing. <laughs> that will explain why it's not working. Put that guy in. So I have him on the negative side. Go from there to there. Yep, still works. We didn't kill the battery. Here, I'll turn off the light. Sweet. All right, so battery is complete. Now we're on to the next step, which is putting this little resistor there. And I'm going to leave this in this project and just grab another one. That way I can test the other ones as I do them. All right, so we're all done with the battery portion and now we can move on to the next components. So I'll see you guys in the next video.